Good day, dear learners and teachers. I am Revery I. Vargas, a junior high school mathematics teacher. In this video, we will explore on how we can use class-based calculator in learning and teaching domain and range. The examples and steps to be discussed in this presentation are also indicated in the Castro book on domain and range. The Castro emulator is a great tool for teachers to simulate the process of learning and computation in class. In this lesson, we will be exploring on menu 1, which is the calculate mode, and menu 9, which is the table mode. We will also be using the calc key as we learn and teach domain and range with Casio ClassWiz. Let's have an example. Given the function, identify the value of y with a given value of x, and the function is y equals 3x minus 5 where x is equal to negative 9. To solve for y, we go to menu 1, calculate mode. Input 3x minus 5. Then press calc. And it will ask for the value of x. Input negative 9. Press equal sign twice, so the value of y is negative 32. Given the function, identify the value of y with a given value of x, and the function is y equals quantity 2x plus 5 over 3, where x is equal to 7. To solve for y, we go to menu 1, calculate mode. Input the fraction key, key in the numerator which is 2x plus 5, press arrow down, then key in the denominator 3, press calc, and it will ask for the value of x. Input 7 since 7 is the value of x. Press equal sign twice and it will give us the value of the y which is 19 over 30. This time, let's have our next example. We are asked to determine the dominant range of each function. Also, to complete the table below. Let's have the function f of x equals 5. Let's complete the table using Casio ClassWiz before identifying the domain and range. First, we press menu and 9. Next, we input the function which is 5. Press equal sign twice. And it will lead us to the table range. For the table range, we follow the values from the given table. For a start, input the first value in the table, which is negative 4. Then press equal sign. For the end, input the last value in the table, and that is 4. And press equal sign. Since the interval between the values of x is 2 units, then the step is 2. So input 2, then press equal sign twice. And the table will appear. The domain is all real numbers and the range is 5. Also, let's complete the table. This time, the function is f of x is equal to the quantity of negative 3x plus 8 over 2. Let's have another example. Let's complete the table using Casio ClassWiz before identifying the domain and range. First, we press menu and 9. We input the function, quantity negative 3x plus 8 over 2, then press equal sign twice. For the table range, 
we follow the values from the given table. For a start, input the first value in the table, which is negative 10. Then press equal sign. For the end, input the last value in the table, and that is 10, and press equal sign. Since the interval between the value of x is 5 units, then the step is 5, so input 5, then press equal sign twice. And the values of the table will appear. If x is negative 10, then f of x is 19. If negative 5, it's 23 over 2, and so on. To identify the domain and range, sketch the graph of the function. And to graph the function, we press Shift Option. A QR code will appear. Click on the QR code and it will direct us to Casio Edu Plus with a graph of the function. From the graph, we can already identify the domain and range of the function, which is, since it's a linear function, the domain is all real numbers and the range is also all real numbers. That's it for now. We are positive that our teachers will be able to share this wonderful learning experience with our students.